So this is the third time I've actually talked about this map, uh, this here da data core, but this is the PlayStation 2 version um, from the PlayStation 2 port, go figure. Um, the thing is, in that game, they didn't actually take a majority of the maps from the original Half-Life Deathmatch. They took data core, Stockyard, and Snark Pit. Now, I haven't played Snark Pit yet at all. I did test out Stockyard in the like on the PS2 disc before. I know there's minor differences. Well, actually more than minor differences, but we'll get to that when we get to that video. Uh, Datacore here is interesting because fundamentally it is very similar, but it's a lot. It's been compacted in a way that is kind of lazy, but the, the laziness kind of runs deeper than that. Which is it sounds like I'm saying that they did a bad job converting it into the from the PC to the PS2, and that's not really the case, but, well, let's take a look here. So, right away, they actually spawned me here. You'll notice that, uh, wasn't there another area here that, like, you know, set of areas with, like, you know, the one, like, you know, kind of, uh, armor charge you can only get with the long jump, stuff like that? And you'd be correct. And, uh, yeah, that's been completely exercised from this version of the map. That complete area with the area that we, you would, like, you know, remember the area with the ladder? And the walkway with the gauze and stuff like that. Yeah, that's gone. Gauze is here now. And, uh, yeah, it just, this is that whole little side of the map is gone while all the rest of it is still here. Obviously, they were trying to make it more suited for two people. But, it, like, the oddity of this map runs deeper than that. Because you'll see here that there's crossbow ammo. And there is not a single crossbow in this version of the map. There was a crossbow in the version of this map on PC. And I can even point out where the crossbow is, but it's not here. And there's even, coming into this part, if you get up here, which is, um, I should mention this, um, if I can actually do it. Am I a failure? I'm a failure. Uh, this area actually exists in the PC version. I didn't mention that video because I actually didn't know. I never, for some reason, looked up here to see that you can, like, there's this little area... With the crawl spaces and the rocket ammo. There's rocket launcher ammo. Uh, there's no rocket launcher in this version of the map either. Again, in the PC version there is, but not here. So, they whoever converted this did a kind of a lazy job removing stuff. Like, it's not just like they remove stuff. They actually change some items and move stuff around. But, overall, it's obvious that they were probably on a time crunch or they just didn't expect people to actually notice that, you know, hey, there's ammo for weapons you can't actually find in this map, in this version. Oh well. And then, right, like, the way it got the kind of cheap bit, cheapness kind of goes further because here you'll notice there was a health kit station here. Well, that's gone, but you'll see the light is still there. You see that? You see there's this, like, random little light, not from that, but just on the wall? Yeah, it's weird. Well, the revolver's still here and you can pick up some, um,. Health kits here, so that's cool. I'm gonna go over this map. Um, the, the charger's still here. I'm gonna go and talk about all the items still. Even if I'm kind of covering the same ground from the PC version. I know there's trip mines that aren't here anymore. A lot of what I've been saying sounds really negative, but this is still a fun map. You know, you just gotta take into consideration that what, the, what we're looking at here was made for two people. And not eight, as I'm doing here. Um, see, yeah, here. You'll remember there's a corridor. That would lead off to the other part of the map. Well, that's gone. And the area, I, I just realized I can't mention. The crossbow is hidden under some stairs in one of the, the side of the map they cut out. This is still here, though. Um, I don't know what Jack's up to. I'll put him out of his misery. But yeah, get the shotgun here. Take a peek of where they forgot to take out the lights, even though they removed the, um, the, char the, the suit charger. Like, I don't know on the PC version, I mean, PS2 version, if there's a check in the map itself that disables those lights. And then it's just like when you bring it back from uh, the PS, the BS2 format to PSP to get reactivated. But I don't know. Anyway, here's your little hiding area. You still got grenades here to dick around. This map has the SMG grenades for the, uh, well, SMG, unlike um, Office, so that's cool. So yeah, this is still a hiding spot here. I can, but, you know, less effective when you consider the fact that I can just look at your screen when, you know, you're actually playing in the same room on the PS2 version. Anyway, here's this area. I, I do believe they added in more grenades in this part compared to the uh, original rendition. You can still go up this way to grab 
the non-existent trip mines and get back into here. And obviously, I'm just gonna. Wow! My gauze jumping is slapping a belly right now. If you climb up like a normal person, you... I don't even know if gauze jumping is a thing on the PS2 version. I'll have to check that at some point. But yeah, the long jump's still here, so that's cool. They didn't take that out. And that can be really effective, obviously, when you're dealing with your friend. Because, you know, you, you get the speed and, the, like, the distance and stuff. And that's the whole thing. Move, Mario. Well, I, I'm just... Yeah. I, I'm just gonna stop trying to shoot anyone, because I'm doing a terrible job. That's really it! Um, you know, despite the fact that it's been a little bit compromised in terms of its original vision, you know, it's still quite little fun. I really don't see any particular reason in actually playing this over... The uh, original PC version, so like unlike Office, where you know, like you know, you might want to give it a shot, because you know there is no original PC version. Here, I can't really say the same thing, but you know, if you really, really, really need some more maps to play, I mean, this is always an option. Uh, one more thing I'll point out is that it's significantly darker than the uh, PC original. I'll load up the original data core in a second. I've noticed this is a running theme. I mentioned that the D PC PS2 version of Office was darker than the unused Dreamcast version, so I don't know if the lighting is just different in the, that version or not, so, but we'll find out. Anyway, let me show you real quick here. Let me load up Data Core. You, you saw how that one area looks, right? You've seen how it is. Yeah, look at it. Well, obviously, here's that area we cut out. I can actually go and show that. Might as well now. Yeah, just in case you need a refresher. Oh, uh, they completely changed the whole- like, that's where that, like, um, the gauze and the shotgun are. In fact, you can absolutely see it. The rail was here, and they just put the, like, you know, other thing here. But yeah, see? Look how much brighter this is. And, like, there's the health charger and everything, so it's- what an oddity. Also, uh, you know, claymores and, like, you know, satchel charges and stuff. I mean, trip mines. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, see? It's funny that the crossbow's there, because look at that. There's the crossbow, and there's the rocket launcher. You'd think they would have noticed they removed it, but you know. Which is odd, too, because it's not like, you know, they forgot about the gauze either, because the gauze is over here normally. See, there's the little quarter. That, this is where you normally grab the gauze. So they moved the gauze, but they didn't feel like moving the crossbow and the, like, the rocket launcher. Unless this is just some weird difference between the way the game, like, the port works. Which, feel free! to, um, you know, comment in the thing if I'm, like, just being retarded and, like, it actually is there in the PS2 version. I mean, I have it. I could go load it up, but I just, I don't feel like really getting my PS2 out right now. So, yeah, anyway, let's play. I mean, with the fewer health resources available to you, it's a lot harder to, like, you know, stay alive. So, you know, it does change the dynamic a little bit of how this would play, I would imagine, in, like, the long run of things. But, you know, if they were willing to, like, cut down... Data core here. It makes you wonder why they didn't take any, like, you know, the, like, almost all the other Half-Life maps, like, in the original Deathmatch and convert them like they did. Because that would give you a lot of different ones to play on. I mean, even regarding the fact that they only took over three, there's still quite a few, like, areas to play on in the PS2 version. Which I'll show off, of course. But, you know, except maybe cross, I mean, the boot camp due to the sheer size of it. I can't really see a reason that you couldn't cut down all the rest of them. I mean, like, bounce would work just fine, even with two people, in my opinion. Just because you have the crossbow and stuff. I mean, something like crossfire, you might want to cut out the bunker and just leave the building area. But really, I don't see why you couldn't just, like, you know, do the whole operation. And I can't imagine to due to necessarily laziness, either. I mean, like, this conversion is admittingly a little bit lazy when you look at, the, like, the cut items and, like, you know, the ammo left behind and the lights left behind, stuff like that. But besides that, it's not like it's terrible. And like, the, the from what I remember playing and seeing of the PS2 version, it's a very high quality port overall. Almost everyone seems to enjoy it. So it just makes me wonder, well, like, what was the idea there? But then again, like I brought up on the Office video... Also, I've, I just realized I didn't turn on the time limit. Well, I'll play for a few minutes anyway. Um, but it's like I pointed out with the PS2 ver, like, you know, the... Plans for like the deathmatch, how they wanted to have bots and like actual split screen and stuff like that, and they didn't go through. I wonder if all their like resources were like focused more on the single player, which you know, fair enough, it should be. That's what most people would be interested in, especially on a console port. But it just makes you wonder. 
But I say that, and then maybe, like, you know, they thought that more people would be interested in playing the DK expansion, which, if you don't know, is, like, a co-op version of, like, Half-Life that's exclusive outside of mods to the PS2 version. So, who knows? It's all very confusing. I mean, it's not like this version was rushed either. Apparently, there was thoughts about making this thing as early as 1999 in terms of, like, the console ports. Like, I know the PS Dreamcast version probably would have been worked at the same time. See, that's the thing. People like to kind of write it in a way, like, write it off as the uh, PS2 version was, like, rushed together from, like, assets of the Dreamcast version that didn't come out. But no, that's not the case because, you know, you couldn't rush. The architecture of those two systems is very different. And there's content and, like, stuff in the PS2 version and the way the models, like, animation works. In that version, like, you know, the bottles in that version are far more detailed and stuff like that, even compared to the high res pack on the PC version and the Dreamcast version. That obviously there's a lot of effort being put into it. It's more so they were probably worked at this on at the same time. And, like, you know, some of the ideas were shared between them. And I would imagine that the reason the, P the multiplayer was changed a bit on this version is just because of the fact that they're still working on said Dreamcast version. For most of, like, the life of this, the, like, you know, the PS2 version development as well. You know, you, things gotta get cornered cut. I mean, considering that the Dreamcast version wasn't even gonna launch with a multiplayer mode. Shows what the, their priorities were, fo like, solely on the single player. And remember, they were developing Blue Shift at the same time. Uh, for the Dreamcast. So, you know, there was gonna be a lot of... There was a lot of original content outside the multiplayer they were working on. For both versions. It's all really interesting. And with that headshot, I think we're about done here. Um, so yeah, da PlayStation 2 Data Core, um, there really is not any particular reason to actually choose this over the original Data Core. So, you know, this is more just a curiosity the end than anything else. Like, it's not exactly not fun to play on the PC version. It's just, you know, it doesn't really offer anything over the original PC version, considering the fact that, you know, you had to take effort to get this onto the PC version, like, like extracting it from the PS2 disc and all that. So, you know, yeah, d don't really, unless you're super bored and curious like I always am, then, you know, d don't, just stick to the original. But it's not, it's not actually terrible on its own merits.